Hi, my name is Julian Adams and welcome to Simplified Safety. Today, we're gonna to answer the question, at what height is fall protection required? In this video, we're gonna focus on what OSHA says about working at height for construction and general industry. General industry covers all situations where employees have to go do work. Unless there's a more specific code under OSHA for the work that's being done, like for construction or maritime. Construction covers any situation for constructing or altering or repairing, including painting or decorating. General industry has a number of scenarios that it lays out for working at height, but it all boils down to four feet. So if you are working on a surface that is four feet or more above a lower level, then you are working at height, you are at risk, and you need some form of fall protection. It's important to understand that lower level doesn't just mean the ground. For instance, if you're walking on a roof and there's an adjacent roof attached to the building, you wanna make sure you measure the difference between those two as well to understand what other risk you may have. There are some exceptions to this rule and we'll get to that in a moment. Like general industry, construction also has exceptions, but for the most part, if you're working on a surface that is six feet or more above a lower level, then you're working at a height and you also need fall protection. So general industry, four feet. Construction, six feet. Okay, so it's time to talk about some exceptions. One exception is dangerous equipment. OSHA defines dangerous equipment as anything that can harm you if you were to fall into or onto it, like a vat or electrical equipment. There is no height requirement when it comes to fall protection for dangerous equipment. Whether it's six inches or six feet, it doesn't matter. If someone can fall into or onto dangerous equipment, then you need guardrail or a travel restraint system to protect them. A common exception to this rule are fixed ladders. Fixed ladders require a ladder safety system or a personal fall arrest system when they are 24 feet in height or more. It's important to understand that this 24 foot rule only applies to the ladder itself. When a user uses a ladder and exit onto the upper level, they are now potentially exposed to another fall hazard and will need fall protection if they are. Scaffolding is also an exception. Scaffolding isn't just the pipe and plank structures you see about. OSHA defines scaffolding as any temporary or suspended platform used to support an employee and their material during work. Now, all employees on scaffolds that are 10 feet or more above a lower level need to have some form of fall protection. What that fall protection is, is gonna be a little bit different depending on the scenario. For instance, if you have a boatswain's chair, you're required to use a personal fall arrest system. However, if you have a crawl board or a chicken ladder, then you can use a guardrail instead. Whatever your scenario, make sure to check the code for your specific situation to have the right fall protection. If you're working on the construction, alteration, or repair of a steel building, steel bridge, or other steel structures, then fall protection is required when you're on a surface that is 15 feet or more above a lower level. Now, there is some nuance to what you can use for fall protection, like a controlled decking zone, and I encourage you to check out the OSHA code to make sure you're using the right equipment. The last exception we're gonna talk about today are service and repair pits. Service and repair pits don't require fall protection when they are less than 10 feet deep, provided that access is limited to six feet to only authorized persons. That six foot line needs to be clearly defined by floor markings, a warning line system, or a combination of both. These are some of the common exceptions to the work at height rules, but if you only remember one thing, remember, general industry, four feet. Construction, six feet. If you still have questions or you're ready to get your fall protection, then please contact one of our safety experts today. My name is Julian Adams. Thank you for watching and have a safe day.